A narcissistic individual can seemingly be one of the most supportive people you could ever meet in the love bombing stage of the relationship when they're looking to sell you an illusion on who they could be based on usually who you would like them to be or when they're offering that intermittent reinforcement when they're trying to suck you back into their games when they want something from you when they want to look good in front of others when they benefit in some way from whatever it is that they are supporting you in therefore it is often very confusing when they suddenly become very cold and distant and unsupportive often very negative and critical and as at times they have shown us they can be supportive towards us when they become critical of us we can often question ourselves and be led to believe that they have our best interest at heart they're only saying this because they want what's best for us and a narcissistic individual will reinforce this belief by telling us that it's only because they care it's only because they don't want to see us make a mistake it's only because they want to see us do well and as some genuine people can do this with well-meaning intentions not recognizing that sometimes we have to allow people to fall and pick themselves up in order to grow we can't go barging in and interfering with everything to try and protect everyone from pain as much as we would like to as often it causes that resistance and people become offended and believe that we have got it in for them with a narcissistic individual when you need them the most is often when they up and leave you when they disappear on you when the attention isn't on them when they're not gaining anything from it when you might be successful at something when you might do one better than them when you might be receiving praise and attention that they're not is often when they will be very unsupportive towards you yet yeah, they often do it in a way where it seems like they're just busy or they're just stressed. They find a way to justify and rationalise it. There's several reasons a narcissistic individual is very unsupportive of you. And one of the first of these is they have that inflated sense of their own self-importance. They're going to prioritise themselves above all others, which is why they will be supportive of you if they can benefit in some way they're still prioritizing themselves however if there's no benefit to them or if they perceive you as doing better than them they might underhandedly, underhandedly find ways to covertly sabotage you cause that sleep deprivation create an atmosphere create an argument before a job interview or something that's important to you Narcissistic individuals simply lack the empathy to care. They don't understand. They can't relate. They're not interested. They can only relate to how it's going to be of benefit to them. And if it's not going to be of benefit to them, or if it strikes those feelings of envy and resentment in them, they're going to go all out to try and watch you fail. Narcissistic individuals often fear that competition. They want to be perceived as the best at everything. They often believe that they are superior. So your success threatens their ego and they will they will go all out to sabotage it in any way they can. A narcissistic partner, if you share children with them, can offer to take care of the children while you work on something and then they'll use that weaponized incompetence where they manage to fail to care for them correctly they neglect them or they neglect the home they just find a way to make it hard work for you and then they will just stand there and claim well you do it better than them so 
it's very difficult to call them out on their things on the things that they're doing and it it builds up that frustration and that resentment within you and then when you react to reactive abuse when you react negatively towards them they stand back and play the victim and blame you and that's what's your problem and claim that you're the one that's taken on too much they will go all out to seemingly be helpful while underhandedly covertly sabotaging you and then blame you when things go wrong and as a genuine person tends to blame themselves they question themselves and change direction and the narcissist usually avoids consequences for their actions they're very manipulative people therefore they support you when it's of benefit to them they'll use a lot of flattery and empty promises to get their needs met or to seem like a genuine empathetic caring person and it's very confusing to try and work out what is actually happening and who is actually the issue is genuine people often tend to look to themselves which is that sort of growth mindset because they can then work to improve only this is putting in a narcissist's hands because when you question and look and blame yourself a narcissist finds it incredibly easy to shift all the blame onto you Narcissists have that strong desire for dominance and control. They need to be in control. So they will withhold support in order to gain the upper hand, in order to be in control. They're extremely self-centered. They're only interested in getting their own needs met. When it comes to criticism, we can have that positive feedback that feels like criticism, which is why we need to own our own mistakes, own our own weaknesses. So if you're dyslexic and you're not potentially the best at writing, you can work on this daily to improve yourself. You've got to step over the fear of the judgment of others and just put it out there and when the criticism comes in you can sit there and think yes that's right my grammar is all over I'm a work in process I'm learning and you will often notice the tone between those who are genuinely trying to help and support you hey just letting you know that you've spelt this word slightly wrong those that are trying to let you know and those who are trying to keep you in a box stop you from growing, stop you from developing. And again, the things, whatever it is, you'll notice the more you do it, the more you improve and the more you can pick your own mistakes out. And even when you don't have any sort of underlying issues, we still have to learn, we still have to grow and we still make mistakes. Walk with those who are supportive of you as you are them or walk away from those who confuse you and blame you and shame you where where you feel like you you can't go and share your good news with them because you're not quite sure how they're going to react to it they're not the kind of people you want in your life just like you'd be over the moon and excited for somebody else if you fear telling someone due to their potential reaction or sabotage and then you believe you're the manipulative one because you're leaving information out because you have that fear of telling them they are not the person you want to be spending your time with. They're the person you want to be distancing yourself from. It's all well and good treating people how you would like to be treated yourself. However, if people are treating you how you wouldn't treat them, they are not the kind of people you need in your life. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continuous support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe.
If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available on those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Live with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries if you'd like to go and check those out they'll be in the description also go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an, an amazing day bye